Good morning readers. I, Harish Budhu, warmly welcome you to my channel. Learn as much as possible from my handwritten articles, 1981 and 1982 budget. Part 3. This 26th of May 2020. A, All World Experts, United Nations, Food, and Agriculture Organization, and other international bodies are predicting an unprecedented food crisis, in the wake of the COVID-19. B. Have you heard of any plan of action to deal with the fast-coming food crisis? Any special cabinet meeting? None whatsoever. Who are they fooling? 1. A very warm welcome to this third part of the series of articles on my comments on the then 1981 and 1982 budget. It was presented by Sir Vrais Amiringdu, Minister of Finance, in the Labour Party government. Sir Siwuza Garamjulam was the Prime Minister. The budget happened to be the last one of the government. All their 60 candidates were defeated at the 11th of June 1982 elections. It was programmed. Defeat was certain. Or automatic pilot. The writing was on the wall since year 1978. 2. But as usual, they did not see it. They did not feel the cold hands of political death. They did not hear the rumble of thunder, when the public did. They refused to believe in the rumblings of discontent and anger, all across the country. Their sycophants told them only things which were nice and music to their ears. And palatable to their minds. Plain and painful truth was hidden. Because it was not any music. It was not palatable. No surprise they led the country to bankruptcy, both financially and morally. History is witness. 3. Here is one lesson of history. Politicians learn very little or nothing from history or past experiences. 39 years ago, the Labour Party budget was meant to fool the public. I fear that history is repeating itself today. Circe Wooza Garamjulam and Labour Party lost touch with the public and harsh Mauritian realities in the 1970s, after some 30 years at the head of government. 4. The present government has verily started where Sir C. Wooza Garamjulam and his Labour Party had ended up. The Prime Minister's sycophants and the bootlickers of his kitchen cabinet, La Defi Group, and Mauritius Broadcasting Corporation Television, are all indeed the most skilled, trained and experienced ones the country has ever produced. That record will not be broken all too soon. Any clear proof? Just think of the praises sung by his members at the National Assembly. Mauritius is fiercely competing with North Korea with the Kims. Same catchy and themed tune of our great leader. 5. All World Experts, Food, and Agriculture Organization, United Nations, and other international bodies are predicting a food crisis, in the wake of COVID-19. Have you heard of any plan of action to deal with it? Any special cabinet meeting? none whatsoever. I could well have spoken to the Minister of Finance, Ranganadan Paday Ayaki. I will not. Because of a bitter and unforgettable personal experience of last January. And the one at the hands of his financial secretary was even worse. 6. We can only hope that some parliamentarians will raise the food crisis issue at the National Assembly. There was a time when almost every family in the villages had a cow, the cowkeeper's savings bank was the cow. I am a vivid example. Without a cow, I would never have gone to a secondary school. Most of the cowkeepers have given up cow rearing. We will not only save millions of rupees, but at the same time, we will help to diminish the swelling number of unemployed. At the same time, we can help our diseased economy by saving hard needed foreign exchange. I ask myself, how can the Honourable Minister sleep, with complete failure everywhere in his ministry? I ask myself what courage these ministers have to cash their monthly salaries. Our important resources, human, land and the sea, God sent, have never been exploited to optimum use by this government, our wealth lies in the sea, foreigners are looting our wealth. Food and Agriculture Organization has predicted that there will be a world fish penury in some years. I ask the House, what is the ministry doing to prepare the country to attain self-sufficiency?
The five-year plan forecast a production of 500 tons of Camerons by year 1980. Heaven was promised in year 1975. The Honorable Minister of Fisheries is giving hell in year 1981. Tilapias have invaded there. The crux of the whole issue is that government represents a basket of half-dead microbium rosenbergii, crabs, oysters and Chinese carps. All are fighting each other to save their lives, not knowing that they will be roasted by the public for failure to bring protein to the population, for failure to provide protein to the economy. A country which is surrounded by sea, is importing salt from abroad for local consumption. What a shame for this country. 7. Conclusion My only hope is that, someone informs the Minister of Finance of these opinion papers plus parliamentarians from both sides of the House raise the food crisis issue plus government immediately initiates measures to deal with it. To be continued. Keep reading. Keep learning. Like and subscribe for more thrilling articles. Thank you for watching.